We're back with the P-Boys. Uh, uh, I hope you're ready for the gayest episode of this podcast that's ever happened. It's a, a real flamer of an episode. Um, and hey, before we get into the app, we got a new contest, boys. Listen to this. Here's the new rules for this contest. Is a, is a, You have to leave a comment on this this episode, next week's episode, and then the next two episodes. Uh, so you have to comment on the next on this episode and three more, and then you will win a hundred dollars and a Paradiso T-shirt. Whoa, That's, that feels like a wow. good giveaway. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. That's a pretty solid giveaway. A uh, hundred U.S. dollars, or you got the dinar. We can do pesos. We can do yeah. dinar. Whatever. <laughs> it's a hundred yen. So it's like yeah. six dollars. <laughs> Fucking monopoly cash or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's our new contest. You have an, you have a choice to win just by all you have to do is leave a com- be a subscriber and also leave a comment on this video. The next three videos. That's all you got to do. Seems like every time you get the rules, there's another rule. Yeah, but that's how right. that's how the best games are played. That's fair. You know, that's fair. I will say if anyone's going to win this hundred dollars, it's probably going to be someone who celebrates Pride Month. Yeah, probably some fucking. I, I think we're still too early in the episode for me to say anything too, too wild. So I don't want to get demonetized. Uh, a butt pirate, if yeah, you will. Sure. And guys, we're we're joined with one of the original P boys, going way back. It's been. I don't. Th- I don't think this is the. Uh, you've done a, po- a an actual podcast episode for a few months. It's uh. It's been a minute. I did yeah. The uh, uh. The comedy show. Yes, that's right. Here. Yeah. At our parody show live show, mm-hmm. uh, guys. It's Papa Sean. Okay, now it's stopped. Like it'd be great if it was playing Sandstorm that entire time. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. All right. Well, this month the P and P boys stands for Pride. Sure. It's fucking gay gay month. Uh, we're watching gay movies. Um, although this episode, none of us watched the movie that is in question. Within recent memory, none of us watched okay. the movie. I've, I've seen it I've before. Seen it. I've seen yeah. It. Yeah. I was probably way too young to watch it. Sure. I was, I think, in eighth grade, which is probably not the time to watch this movie. Probably but. not. That's It's a coming of age film. It's a coming, it's a coming of age, of age, film. age yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking yeah. guys coming. Yeah. It taught me a lot about myself, I'll yeah. say that. We got to remake this movie with a couple straight bros and call it Bro Back Mountain. You know, just a couple yeah. of bros. Or Blow a Back Mountain. Blow yeah. Out They're back both mountain. fucking two different chicks that yeah. can't walk the next day. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. That's fair. I, I mean, I, I feel like the movie would be a lot less controversial today. Uh, yeah. There was... Uh, uh, if Billy Eichner made... Who would the 2024 uh, Brokeback Mountain cast be? Timothy, Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. Okay. We both agree yeah. on that one. Jinx. Tom Holland? Is he... I don't think you could put the two of them in the same movie. Yeah, well, this movie is about like masculinity and shit. So, right. And neither of them are really masculinity. Is he, I think... A buff Jeremy Allen White, okay, sure. coming fresh off of the Iron Claw, yeah, and then Timothy Chalamet. I, I think I think they did recently remake this movie, and they called it like Episode Four: The Last of Us. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah Nick Offerman was yeah. in it. A couple yeah. crusty gay dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love to see a little Sam Elliott in there. You know, like just uh, he wouldn't the, do this. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a different time. So, yeah, I mean, if, if one of them was Timothy Chalamet, then we would need, like, an older buffer guy. Jason Momoa. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chalamet and Momoa. Yeah. Or, or like, what about the, the off-brand Hemsworth? Oh, yeah, Luke Hemsworth? Yeah. There's a third? Yeah. There's Luke, no Liam, and Chris. Chris. Yeah. I knew about Liam and Chris. Yeah. What has Luke ever been in? He was in Westworld. Oh, it's Cowboy. That's Cowboy. You know, that's Jason. Cowboy adjacent. Yeah. Yeah. Or it could be Joker because this movie has a Joker in it. So have you even Jared Leto said out loud yet the the title of the? Film? I said Bro Back Mountain. Yeah. And I said okay. Blow a Back Mountain. Yeah, so right. I, I we're think talking they know what we're getting mountain. at. Yeah. They, yeah. All right. that's that's fair. That's yeah. Fair. Um, who's the new Joker? Joaquin Phoenix 
and uh, Jared Leto. You just put both of them in it. Yeah, <laughs> they, they they like Heath Ledger's uh, seconds. So, yeah, 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 it makes sense. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So there's a couple cowboys taking it up the butt. By that logic, we would need a Ten Things I Hate About You remake as well. If we're redoing every Heath yeah, Ledger I, movie, then yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, would would they have to call it like Ten Things I Hate About Them now? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Eleven Things I Hate About You, and the eleventh one is that he's bi. That's fair. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's 10 things I hate about my iPhone. You know, because it's a modern remake. That's fair. Uh, or it's a Palestinian remake. 10 things I hate about things- Jews. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of it guy. like as you were yep. saying it, and I was like, I got to beat you to it. You know, we're fresh off of Arab April. So. Yeah. Air- uh, Middle or, East sorry, May. Middle East May. God. <laughs> what month is it again? I don't know. It's not even June yet when we're recording this. Technically, no. But yeah. uh, as the one bisexual member of the podcast, every month is Pride Month. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And I, as, I didn't know that. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. You couldn't Thank tell you. by everything about him? <laughs> I, I just thought it was a generational thing, yeah. to be honest with you. <laughs> no, I think all, all the are. kids now yeah. Yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It is a generational yeah, thing. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the only kids that aren't bi are the ones who were convinced it was a good idea to vote for Donald Trump by their parents. There we go. And they are bi. They're just scared to admit it. Like, I mean... Growing up, I, I played a lot of gay chicken, um, you know, so. Touching dicks? Yeah. Like, but that, that was just like our fucked up way of like normalizing homophobia and yeah, getting over it. Right. Yeah. You know, so I'd never the kids expect- nowadays are taking it too far. They're taking the gay chicken too far. <laughs> they're just having gay sex. Yeah. They're just fucking guys. <laughs> There's no more gay chicken. It's just gay sex. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just gay cock. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there we good, go. Good for you guys. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Growing up swimming. You know, I spent yeah. a lot of time around good looking Seaman. dudes in Speedos. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. It, it, I went to an all guys Catholic school. So, you know, like, it, it, uh, I, I understand. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. We all did. We all did. Yeah. yeah. This is slowly turning into a, well, I guess not Catholic because Gary didn't go to Catholic high school, but a private high school podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we like to have our guests well educated. Right. So. Right. I, I, I realized I wasn't a, a very good looking kid because I never got touched by a priest. So, you know. But, uh, yeah. There's one minute left on that SD card. Papa oh. Sean, do you have any final words? <laughs> uh, no. no. I got I got nothing. You're not going to come out in this last 60 seconds or anything <laughs> no, like that? No. <laughs> switching, switching cards. Comedian switching. <laughs> that's a, it's a mouthful. Comedians coming in Jerry Seinfeld's mouth. What is the deal with that? Joseph, just don't put the SD card in that has all my gay sex tapes on it. Whatever you do. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's the one labeled Patreon only. All right, we're we're back with Papa Sean, and we're back. And we're yeah, yeah. guys. We're back. I I feel like the weight of the world has been uh, just lifted off my chest, and having a chance to uh, to to tell you that. Yeah. So, you know, we're proud of you, Sean. Yeah, we're really proud of you for that one. Yeah, I, I'm glad we could be the ones to make you feel welcomed enough to to say that. Thought I was gonna have to go to the grave with that secret. Right. Um. There we go. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Papa was, Sean Papa was at that club the night Heath Ledger died. <laughs> Papa Sean I could was, have saved him. Papa Sean was at the club the night that guy shot it up in Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> the day the music died. <laughs> what was it called? Like, is any of this usable? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Papa Sean, while you've been away, while yeah. you've been uh, hiding in the thumb, mm-hmm. this has slowly turned into a well, Papa racist. Sean's been hiding his thumb. Well, Papa Sean's been hiding his thumb. This has yeah. slowly turned into a racist, sexist, homophobic uh, podcast with uh, two alt right uh, <laughs> Nazi youth boys who right. uh, spew misinformation. And uh, have you been notified by the community? Uh, yeah, uh, I've been no- notified quite often that that's what this <laughs> podcast is. <laughs> this movie podcast is slowly turning into a. Uh, you know, an extremely offensive podcast. You know, not to put a date on the episode or anything, but uh, our boy DJ, well, DTJ, 
was at his father's trial today when his father got hit with 34 felony oh, yeah. cases. Yeah. Yeah. Friend of the show, yeah. uh, President Donald Trump. Yeah. And his sons, Eric and Junior, yeah. were ah. both present. Yeah. So. Did that, that, that went through today? Yeah. yeah he was uh, guilty. He and, uh, was batting 100. Oh. Yeah. 34 for 34. Guilty on all counts. Really? Yes. Wow. And so his sentencing date is set for somewhere in July? But as far as I'm concerned, that's the first U.S. president we've had to ever get hit with a guilty verdict on any sort of felony. I believe that is the case. Yeah. But Nixon, also, it's it's my understanding that like the shit he did, that's like what every president does. Yeah, I mean, I guess like, Obama that's, maybe was that's my his wife to say she wasn't trans. That's what. That's that yeah. Stuff, I think so. that's what it was. Right. That might be the misinformation that's making its way to the podcast. But uh, it's my understanding that. <laughs> He uh, that uh, he didn't do anything that like no other people or in politics have done in the past. But. It it makes my brain want to explode. Yeah, I I honestly don't know what he did. Just to- <laughs> the from what I understand, because uh, we were listening to like the news thingy today at work. Yeah. Uh, most of it had to do with like business malpractice and him signing hush money deals. Ah, which okay. again, yes, every yeah. president ever has signed hush money deals and yeah. he's just the first to get exposed for it. So it's, it's, it's like a really tough, like they did it, you yeah. know, like, right. It's it just like, and that's what's going on uh, at the, at the top. So yeah. that really, I feel good about the direction this country's going in. So uh, my first thought when I heard about it was like, well, wasn't, nixon guilty of the watergate shit you know what i mean but i guess he never got hit with like a felony technically yeah. like he resigned before anything could be done about it so like you gotta feel like the person in charge should be able to play fast and loose with the rules right like um and it, it feels like people just have issue with who the person in charge was oh yeah, yeah. like that's uh that's where it's all coming from because like you know like if if america were in danger you know you'd want the commander-in-chief to like do some shit right yeah not fucking have to call it not lawyer up you know like this isn't a dui you know yeah yeah so yeah it's just yeah i think if anything and i'm not trying to expose myself here, but the fact that he felt comfortable doing all of that, like leading up to his election and even into his presidency, Joe Biden should have been paying people to be like, no, my son doesn't smoke crack. You know, like, no, nah, I'm chilling. I'm not, I don't have dementia, you know? <laughs> it's like if Trump got away with it for as long as he did, then maybe Biden could have convinced us all his son was sober and, and you Probably. know. Probably. I think people are still convinced he's sober. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I mean, but like you guys seen the tapes, yeah, the Hunter ones, the Hunter tapes. Yeah, those are wild. Yeah, the, the, even just the picture of him sitting naked smoking crack is yeah. awesome. I wish I had the balls to do something like yeah. that. Yeah, the fact that he was like, "Guys, where's the camera?" Yeah, <laughs> like I send my boys a lot of pretty frisky shit trying to make fun of myself, but I would never get naked and put a crack pipe in my mouth. Yeah. That's a line I wouldn't cross. I haven't, yeah. I haven't smoked a lot of crack, but I feel like it's uh, it's something that you probably would want to do with clothes on right 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 right. yeah well maybe you want to do it clothesless so it doesn't stain you know but there's there's hot glass surfaces you know like you're not you're not cooking yeah frying a bacon naked that's true yeah you know i I don't want to get it he might get some crack grease on his (laughs) his cubes yeah is that how it works i think crack grease yeah (laughs) now we're cooking with crack yeah i've i've i do i do have friends of mine who've told me that they've accidentally smoked crack which always crack me up a little bit you know like yeah that's what crack does yeah how do you accidentally smoke crack but you know yeah it's a different time yeah different time you know what else was a different time was this a broke back mountain yeah indeed it was um it was made at a time when gay movies were not like the norm yeah now there's too many of them all these fucking disney movies like take it easy take it easy walt yeah what is she gonna be lesbian and inside out too i mean come on yeah what, are they going to make a fucking trans broke rag mountain next? It was way more of a big deal than it should have been, like, looking back on it now. Yeah. Um, and, and when I say big deal than it should have been, it, like, the 
it, it would just be I'd be interested to see you go back to watch like the monologues that were happening at the time, like you know, like how people kind of, kind of got away with being as homophobic as they were, like you know, cracking jokes on it and whatever else. Sure, you know? it's a it's a beautiful movie, you know. Sure. But no, it's a great movie. It'd be like yeah. watching this podcast back then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the most surprising part of this movie is that Ang Lee directed it. What uh, what else is in Ang Lee's uh, uh, Cr- Crouching part? Dragon? That's, hidden. That's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, sure. The Incredible Hulk. Um, the other Ed Chinese Norman. movies. No, the the Eric Bana one. What? So he just loves jacked dudes. I think that's what it is. That's Ang fair. Lee is just. If he made Crouching Tiger, Hidden Penis, and Incredible Hulk, yeah, he loves to see a. a Cut dude with his shirt yeah. off, I think, is the case. Maybe Ang Lee was hiding something. That was a beautiful movie. Yeah. yeah. He made, Oh, he made Gemini Man with Will Smith, where there's a younger Will Smith. Did you guys see that one? No. It was bullshit. Yeah. Ang yeah. Lee, more like Bang Me. Yeah. He's asking a dude to do it. More like Ang Ree. <laughs> That's how he would say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, he made everyone pretty angry when he made this yeah. movie, so. <laughs> yeah. It, it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he put it on a T for Joseph there. Yeah. He knocked that one out of the park, apparently. Yeah. Community <laughs> guidelines. Yeah. I warned you, Bob and Sean. The show has changed. <laughs> the P Boys have changed. It has it has changed. Yeah. Uh I mean it has guys, changed. Yeah. <laughs> you guys go camping? I do. Yeah. No. No. I yeah. don't. I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay or Liam. Yeah, well, that's fair. Liam went camping and never returned. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think he and I became Facebook friends in the last month. Oddly enough, like Liam Hannigan, yeah, the former co-host of this show. I I believe, like, unless I was tripping, I believe he finally accepted my Facebook friend request from uh, at least over a year, year and a half ago. That's insane because he hasn't texted me back in months. No. So he's he was really busy at hedonism. Yeah, I, I and. Like I'm, I'm sober and I'm remembering things pretty well. Yeah, uh, but no, I like, believe you. I, I hopefully I didn't. That means I have beef with Liam now. Yeah, if he's accepting your friend request and not texting me back, he doesn't look very active on Facebook. No, he's all. not. Yeah, he probably just saw it and like accepted it and then just closed it and hasn't gone back on. Yeah, he might be trying to get you to call him by his name. I didn't slide call me by your the, name. Yeah, didn't slide slide into the DM. Yeah, maybe that's what this movie is. Just Army Hammer and Timothy Chalamet is like the modern remake of this one. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. That was a yeah. pretty gay throw. That was, uh, <laughs> Only if you would have grunted. <laughs> yeah, if you're not putting a dent in the drywall, then you're throwing like a gay. <laughs> that's Come on, true, bro. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right, what else about this movie? Anne Hathaway, her tits are in this movie. Yeah, that's the only that's thing like I know. Thing that makes it straight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, that's how Ang got funding remember. for the movie. Yeah. Like the producers were like, "Ang, we can't make this fucking gay movie." And he's like, "You don't understand." I, and Hathaway is going to show her boobies, and like, I don't think they hung dong. No, no, they didn't. There's yeah. no dong. There's only the only nudity in this movie is Anne Hathaway. Yeah, which. Can you hang dong in a Hollywood movie, or is that like can shit like considered showing puss? Like you can now. Yeah, they, have you ever seen the movie Porky's? Uh-huh. No. Yeah, they're, they're hanging dong. They, there's, okay. a, there's a there's a scene in. Are Porky's. they children in that movie? But that's that was a different time. Right. Yeah. Was, uh, did you I, see yeah. Pam and Tommy? Did you see Pam and Tommy? Yeah. He has like a dick that talks to him. But isn't that like CG because it's like talking to him? No, it's animatronic. So yeah. that's not technically his penis then. It's not his penis. But they're showing a dong. Right. Yeah. Okay. Are you talking about the Pam and Tommy video? Like the sex tape? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You seen that one? Yeah. <laughs> I know you have. Yeah. What was it's, it like? It's a little before my time. What was it like when that first dropped? It's a different time back then. Um, we found our porn in, in bushes and in neighborhoods. Like, I, I shit you not. There was like. Well, you found it upstairs. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Um, Someone's wife got mad and they had to ditch it in the cul-de-sac. No, like, you know, the, you know, those little neighborhood libraries where it's like, take a book, leave a book. Oh like, yeah. 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 Like by the bus stop, there's a bush where like we found a porn one day. Nice. And, and then like we watched it, we put it back and then there's a different porn. Someone else found it. Yeah. Like a week later, like and, <laughs> leave a porn, take a porn. And, and I'm telling you that this, this experience is a shared experience around the Metro Detroit area where people are like, yeah, 
Like yeah, they found, they found porn a porn VHS tape. tape of a porno yes, just yes. floating around. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. dude. What What about the Pam and Tommy tape? Do, do you Do you remember when you first saw it? Yeah, it was uh, you know, grainy POV. Uh, you know, it was it was about like you know a loving couple that were just boning a lot on a, yeah. on a boat in like fucking Tahoe. Yeah, I then I remember Tommy like blowing the air horn on the boat with his cock. Okay, like. Yeah. I've actually never seen it. I only I have either. seen the Pam and Tommy like remake of it. Yeah. Ah. The Hulu thing or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I saw that too. Yeah. Yeah. So with the first time you watched it, was it on VHS? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how how did like somebody get that to like record it onto a VHS? <laughs> we never stuck around to ask questions about where okay. the no, I, material okay. is from. Like, okay. They didn't question it. They yeah. just accepted it. It felt like a stranger danger situation, yeah. you know, like it, it was, it was a little, <laughs> it was a little sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I won't ask anymore. But yeah. no, no, I, I, I mean, <laughs> it's fair. Trust me. I, I lay awake at night wondering like, like how close was I, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Was it that good? Like, no. Yeah. That's what I, that's it, what I think. Cause I've heard it because it was her. Then. Yeah. Like okay. everyone, yeah. everyone wanted to see Pamela Anderson naked. You yeah. Know? Like, it was the same thing with the Kim Ray J tape. Yeah, I've never seen that either. You haven't seen that one? No. That, I feel like, was kind of my generation's version. That of is, but yeah. Yeah, and like that is not a good porno. No. They, but it's Kim. They didn't have HD. They didn't nope. have, they didn't have uh, uh, stabilizing technology. iPhones. Um, yeah. No. Have you that, seen Draymond Greens? Yes. Yeah. I I've have. seen that one. Yep. Yeah. The, yeah. the, 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 Sag <laughs> the Saginaw Sling has a... Uh... The Saginaw Sling? <laughs> is he from Saginaw? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Did you know he played football and basketball at MSU? Oh, wow. Yeah. Good he was a walk-on on the football team. I don't think that's his actual nickname, but it is the Saginaw something. Like, uh, it always cracks me Sling. Up. That's his new nickname. Yeah. That's that tape. Yeah. hey yo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good for you, Drake. Do you remember when he was, like, either live on Instagram or Periscope but back in the day and he dropped his phone in the shower? No. That was another thing he did. So okay. he has a sex tape. And he dropped his phone during. So the he's like, stream. he's proud of his. his yeah, day. I think I don't think he dropped it on accident. I'll yeah. say that. Yeah. yeah, he wanted he wanted people to see it because it was like a year or two after Kodak Black did the same thing on accident. Who so, who live streams in the shower unless you want people to see your dick? That's a good question. Yeah. yeah. Was was his with Iggy Azalea or was she with someone else? Draymond. Yeah. No, that was not Iggy. That was some like just I think it was just like some blonde Instagram. Didn't movie. like some basketball player in Iggy Azalea have a tape? I don't know if they ever had a tape, but Nick Young, Swaggy P. Oh, okay. Was dating Iggy. Okay. And then his teammate, D'Angelo Russell, found out that Swaggy was cheating on her. And so uh, D'Angelo okay. Russell kind of exposed the cheating scandal on social media. Okay. Which D'Angelo Russell was like a rookie or in his second year at the time and Swaggy was in like his 10th or 11th year in the NBA and it was yeah. kind of like a all right young blood that you don't do that kind of shit in the NBA like respect your veterans like even if you know somebody on your team's doing some infidelity shit you know yeah. you keep it in the locker room which i mean you you'd got to expect you know black basketball player dating a Australian rapper white bitch who thinks she's black she got a black girl ass though. Probably, but it's probably you know not the most stable relationship. It's probably not a lot of fidelity going on in that relationship. Fair, yeah, fair. It's very judgmental of you, Joseph. Yeah, Pop John, <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> this My, show has changed. The, the middle aged white guy is trying to be the fucking voice of reason. This like, show has changed. Yeah, I was gonna say you have a trap shooting hat on and a flannel. <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. think you'd be the racy one over here, <laughs> not keeping us PC. Jesus Christ, man. this show has changed, Pop John. <laughs> You've been away too long. Ah, it's, uh, it's, I've lost all control. Yeah, it's the, the wheels yeah. are off, and it's yeah. all my fault. First, first, you left, and then Brad, and then now I'm like, all bets are off. No, it's 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 all, it's good. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to like you know get in the river and, and yeah try to try. If, to if, you, if you're if you're worried about where our content is going, we can we can tone it down for this. No, no, I don't give a okay. fuck. All right, yeah, cool. like I mean, people have to watch to cancel us. So yeah, that's right, true. yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, Joseph was fine until he invited a diagnosed schizophrenic, homophobic, bisexual kid to be his right. co-host. You know, right? It's all been downhill since then. Oh, mm -hmm. dude, that's 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 good. You know, yeah. at least you know what you're dealing with, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I realize like most of the co-hosts are like people I've like brought into my podcasting world. Have spent some time, you know, 
in the asylum. So it's like, you know, I guess. as as you're as you're going down uh, the uh, the credits list there, I was like, who is this guy? Oh, you're talking about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're gonna have to cut that one. Oh, yeah we can cut that <laughs> no like just zoom in on my facial expression as you're going through the list yeah i'm just like oh <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right yeah i've missed you papa sean oh, i miss you guys I, don't, I don't see it as much as a you know I, I, the, I mean, we only really spent one summer together, much like the boys in this movie. I was just about to say. <laughs> yeah. We was, only really spent one summer together. It was a love affair, though. It was a love affair. It was. Yeah. It, we were. No, I told you, if, if I weren't here, I'd just be up in, in the woods writing a manifesto. So Yeah. Um, you do kind of look like Ted Kaczynski. I was just yeah. about to say. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just gotta 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 keep you on your toes, man. Right. You know, yeah. You're gonna get a letter from Papa Sean. You open it, just gives you SARS. Yeah. <laughs> just making him a website. Okay, yeah. that's all. That's all it is. Watch out, the website might give you SARS. Yeah. Share your data. It's gonna have a needle <laughs> that gives gay AIDS, and so that way he can say, "No, I got it from a needle." And the doctor's <laughs> like, "Nah, the test results are in. It says it's the gay AIDS." I don't because know. We all know you. gay AIDS and regular AIDS are two very different. <laughs> right. <things>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Jake Gyllenhaal die from AIDS in this movie? That's Philadelphia, and that's Tom Hanks. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say I don't. No, he he <laughs> dies from getting beaten up for being gay. Yeah, I think someone gets beat to death in this movie, but I don't think anyone dies of AIDS, right? I know it was a joke. Okay, it's a comedy podcast. Okay. All right, all right. All right. It, was, it was it was gay bash. Yeah. Well, you know, John Cusack isn't in it. Yeah, to kill right. anyone. John Cusack AIDS, can't give so. anyone gay AIDS with his gross penis blank. <laughs> John cute sack. Yeah. John it's a bit counterintuitive because he has a cute sack but a gross penis. Right. You know. <laughs> the duality of the man. Yeah. Yeah. Good good for him. The duality of a sack. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. <laughs> you, you'll pay more attention when you get to be my age. Yeah. Papa Sean, did you like this movie when it came out? I it was it was good. Um You saw it with Hunter Biden, right? Yeah, I wasn't yeah. I wasn't allowed to like <laughs> We couldn't sit around and talk about it, you know, like, like, it's it's not what was happening. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it's hard to talk about something when someone's cracked out, you know. Yeah. So that's fair. When this movie came out, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Papa no, you're good. <laughs> as a straight man, were you allowed to tell your friends you went and saw it, or no? Did you see it in theaters? Uh, no, I I saw it. I, I don't think I saw it until it finally like hit streaming. Okay. Um, like it was, it was one of those things where like you heard enough about it, right? That like yeah. you felt like you saw it without seeing it. Sure, um, you made jokes about it, and uh, you know you, that was just like the the ultimate burn for you know like that that era for a decade. Yeah, you know, if you, instead of calling your buddy gay, he would say, "Oh, you broke back mountain." Yeah, you yeah, um, mountain over here. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, to answer your question, uh, the, no, we didn't camp out like the, the Star Wars Episode One. Yeah. You know, like they got to make a Brokeback prequel. Yeah, like, yeah. Or it's uh, like, hey guys, let's get some tents. Let's get on the sidewalk. Yeah. Okay, we're in. You know, like uh, for Brokeback Mountain. And yeah, we were pitching multiple tents yes. when that movie came yes. out, my friend. Yeah, there's probably some like frats out there that were like they're making it like a joke to like go see this. Yeah, and probably one of them liked it a bit too much. Yeah. Like the 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 guy that organized it, you know, just like wasn't wasn't out yet. Yeah, know? yeah. So I was like, yeah. wouldn't it be funny if all of us bros? Went wouldn't it off? be funny if we were jerking off in the <laughs> gay movie, guys? Wouldn't that be so funny if we could we, dress like Pee Wee Herman yeah. in the movie theater? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see hear about that? Uh, the speaking of gay movies, there's a uh, Kevin Spacey. There's like this documentary out about. I saw. It. I saw yeah. it. You watched it? Yeah, I did. What was it about? Uh, just about his long, uh, track record of, uh, being miserable towards, uh, towards men. Like Kevin Spacey, like to turn dudes. Yeah. Yeah. That was, Ooh. that was his thing. It was like to, to put people in a situation where like, you know, they weren't gay, but like they thought that they could get like a movie made or something like that, that he, uh, you know, um, so yeah. But they're all of age. <laughs> I, I guess I, yeah. it still doesn't make it cool. Yeah. And like, how is the one gay person in here not supporting that? <laughs> because no, I'm just kidding. I, okay. Yeah. As the one gay person, you also don't hit on straight dudes. That's just not cool. Like it's kind of, at least in my opinion, Listen, I've been around plenty of gay dudes who are hitting on me. 
Okay, well then they're not fucking. Cool. They're the fucking spacies of the world. Yeah, and yeah. those are not cool gay guys. Like a cool gay guy has respect for a straight man in the same way that a straight dude has respect for a lesbian woman. And if she's like, "Yeah, I bat for the other team," you're not like, oh, "Are you sure about that? Well, have you ever tried dick before?" Like, yeah. I don't know. It just you don't fuck with someone's sexuality like that. <sighs> this is a different time. <laughs> Yeah, like that. That was like the next question that we were tr- like, just like trained, like at eighteen years old. It's like, if you meet a lesbian, you probably have a chance at a three way. It's like, no, we don't. Yeah, no, you know? like no, yeah, no especially because if you meet a hot lesbian, her partner is, uh, you know, got the cut and the the jorts and the. You probably don't want a three way at that uh, point. I I had a friend in Atlanta that like I just one wouldn't bring any girlfriends around or like i wouldn't even want her talking to my own mother because like this girl could just turn out other girls you know and it was intimidating you know like yeah i feel like it's easier to to les out a girl than to than to gay out a guy yeah yeah because i feel like even 20 years ago there was always like that oh every girl has their experimental phase in college and now that goes both ways i think yeah, no, nah, that, that's what I understand. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, unless you're Chaldean, then obviously. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's because it's fucking fluoride. Let me tell you, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, they turned the frogs gay first. Right. Now it's all the young men. Don't get Drake started. It's a good thing he didn't make this episode because he he knows all the facts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Drake, not the rapper. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Well, we call him Drizzy, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Captain Drizzyko. Is he beefing with anyone? Drake. You're Drake. Our Drake. Yeah. No, he's not beefing with anyone. Okay, good. No, he he just he knows all the facts. Like he's a big he's a big Alex fan. Yeah, he's a Jones head. Yeah. Okay, you are making some changes around. Oh here. yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, am I going to be your Tucker Tucker Carlson? You yeah, know, like the Paradiso uh, Tucker. Paradiso Tucker. Yeah, we have our Alex with Drake, and now yeah. we need a Tucker. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring a bow tie. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, I'm Greg Gutfield. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm a. Uh, Who's the the one? You're Don guy? Lemon. No, who's the his, the young Hispanic guy who's like he's a Republican, but he's like kind of gay, and he might not be gay, but he is gay. Milo Yiannopoulos. No, am I thinking of someone else? He's like, is know. he actually gay? Milo Yiannopoulos. Mm-mm. He's like a pretty big name. I'm scared to have an opinion at this point. You know. <laughs> <laughs> See, as long as you have both opinions, yeah, then no one can call you out for it, right? If you're like, oh, I can see both sides, actually, you know. Mm-hmm. It seems pretty slippery. Yeah. 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 I like it. Everything yeah. in my life is pretty slippery. That's, there we go. That's fair. That's, that's fair. why he's the lib of the pod. All right. Me? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't have enough money to be conservative. Yeah. So, you yes. know, like... This is also true. <laughs> yeah. So this gay movie, it's fucking a couple of guys. They go on a camping trip. They have a bit too much fun. And... uh and uh, then they, they have to deal with the repercussions. I will say every other time I've been camping with just a dude, it's been an immediate turnoff because you see them at their worst. Like they haven't showered in three days. You know, they don't smell too great. They're probably not in the best mood. So yeah. I don't know how accurate this movie is. but uh, Yeah, it, I, can, I can tell you from experience uh, living on the road and like – living out of a van, uh, living in campsites with the significant other, um, not a lot of sex. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it's, uh, like something about like peeing into a Gatorade bottle <laughs> out of necessity, just really, uh, you know, like <laughs> when, when you, when you have visual feedback of like whether or not your partner's hydrated, um, yeah. you know, like it's, uh, yeah. Right. What else is in that Gatorade? Am I right? Uh, another good rule of thumb is never buy lemon lime Gatorade when you're uh, when you're on the road. It's, uh, <laughs> That's what they it's, say. It's, it's hard hard to distinguish colors at night. You know, like yeah, you got to go, you got to go red, you got to go orange, you got to go blue. Right. Yeah. Primary colors. Not the yellow. Yeah. Uh, fucking in a handicap stall is a lot more acceptable than fucking in an outhouse. That's a good point. You know. Yeah. Would you feel bad if you're having sex in a handicap stall and someone was waiting yeah. for the If you saw the wheels stall? come yeah. up. Yes, absolutely. I feel bad if I'm shitting in a handicap stall and I see wheels or crutches pull up, you know? Yeah. You just climb over the top. You're like, he won't see. So I pull my shirt over my face and slide under. Yeah. yeah. God. That's, that's yeah. Or maybe he'll he'll be happy to know. That, yeah. Well, you know. Warm it like, up for you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I well, can feel it. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was I was just about to say he can't tell. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, if he's a fucking Hawking's type, you know, he might he won't feel anything. What other marginalized group can we go after? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking mowing them down you know like, yeah Jesus if God. you're a minority comment down below and we'll rip on you <laughs> if i know anything it's that people want to know what a middle-aged white guy has to say right now so let's uh let's do it you know yeah <laughs> that's what i want to know i want to know what a middle-aged 25 year old Chaldean guy has to say yeah 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 i don't think anybody's ever wanted to know what i have to say but i make sure they hear it that's sure. fair yeah. yeah that's fair yeah like you got a voice yeah, well, yeah I mean, you've got you extra could, voices apparently yeah, yeah. You know? like, <laughs> good good for you bud you know <laughs> yeah you might hear one thing from one of my personalities coming for you mental health community <laughs> they should make you know that movie split with james mcavoy mm -hmm. they got they they need to make one of the personalities gay and so he's like blowing a guy and then he like comes to the realization while he's in the middle of it and he's like what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> that that would be that would be a realization for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I would say we need to make split two and it's just a guy who's like bearding his homosexuality. Split me open. Yeah, and it's split me open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a guy with a wife and kids and all the hunting trips he goes on. That's yeah. his, that's his split. Yeah. He has a multiple personality disorder and like yeah, he'll just like shut down, become like very serious. Walk to the car. His wife is like, honey, where are you going? Doesn't respond. Gets in the car, drives off, fucks a, a ton of dudes in the woods. And then he. But it has to be in the woods. Right. Yeah. And that, yeah. And then it could be like the Incredible Hulk because he like wakes up. He has no clothes on. He's like unconscious. And he's like, how did I end up in the woods? <laughs> yeah. He's got a milk mustache. Yeah. And then there's another naked guy, but he's torn in half. And that's where the split split me open comes from. I mean, at least he gets to make use of a hundred percent of Pornhub, right? You know? yeah. yeah, that is true. Yeah, I'm locked out of half. You know, yeah. at least. <laughs> Ever since they changed, you heard in Texas, you have to like show your show your ID to like get on Pornhub. <laughs> they just like, like send them a dick pic. I <laughs> heard they're like straight up banning some porn sites, though. Yeah, I've heard they they ban porn sites, but I think for Pornhub, you have to show your ID to get in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds, is a bounce very fishy yeah you know, like yeah right you have to like show your id to your front facing camera on your yeah. phone someone's yeah. stealing that information yeah as if they weren't already but is it is like, like my name like is papa sean i'd like to jerk off <laughs> yeah but I, I think it would be funny if you had to Cruz, like ID. comes to your house and you, you have to like show him your id it's like the dating apps they make you take a picture in a certain pose to like verify that you like you are who you are yes. so, like, yeah like, yeah like porn hub you, you have to like blue go check. With the over grip go with the yeah. under grip you know like yeah. <laughs> we need a soft pick a hard pick a full body pick right a rear full body pick uh, and then spread them circumcised yeah, I gotta believe, like, b holes are like fingerprints right you yeah. know like yeah, there's no two alike mm -hmm. so, oh yeah. yeah 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 i've never seen two chocolate starfish that look the same that's fair there you go good good to know magic starfish yeah <laughs> uh so what else about this movie uh a lot of conflict you know yeah. uh it, it um it's ironic that jake is the one that dies but heath is the one that died in real life the 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 uh yeah, that is that is very ironic the um yeah they they picked the wrong because they could have made a sequel <laughs> if they picked the right one <laughs> would, it, would it kill off two franchises yeah you know? exactly like, um but uh the 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 takeaway that I remember in the zeitgeist was the uh, I I can't quit you was the uh, yeah was the yeah, line yeah. That, uh, you know so that was said drunkenly to bro friends you know after, <laughs> sure. after the movie you sure. know always got a good laugh yeah. you know so. yeah I've told Joseph that multiple times yeah, yeah. after after a good game of gay chicken <laughs> gay telling, chicken. You, telling your bro uh, like is gay you, chicken just you you put your penises as close to each other as they can. And like you pretend you're going to kiss your buddy. Oh, there's a lot like, of different yeah. versions there's, of there's gay chicken. Of, yeah. There's like a yeah. talking version. <laughs> you're just, version. Your ass is out and they like go as close to your ass as you can. And, you know, just or just, yeah, you know. I think if that game were to be like if someone were to be like, let's play this game. There's your chicken. That's fucking he's gay right there. You know, I don't like I'm. What were we proving playing the game? Like, right. Yeah, I just. 
Yeah, who is the winner? The one who does the gay thing or the one who gets out of doing the gay thing? I I mean, the, the, the point of the game was to not end up doing the gay thing. But get as close as you physically could. So I think the winner would be portrayed as whoever felt more comfortable. Yeah, I think that's... So that game is fairly progressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's 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 like, you know, what you you played gay gay chicken to prove that you weren't homophobic in a, in a weird okay. way. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I yeah. see that now, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm comfortable enough in my sexuality that I can, like, almost kiss a bro, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. yeah. It, it, it made sense in 2003, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. She wouldn't fly today. Yeah. So I had a broke back mountain moment a few weeks ago. Did you really? It was like right before I started seeing the girl I'm seeing now. I was at a club and uh, I got pretty drunk that night. And that was one of my like, I am I need to chill on that kind of stuff kind of nights. Sure. And uh, my buddy was pretty bad as well. And we were getting driven home by our one sober friend who was with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So me and my drunk buddy were walking back to my sober friend's truck. My sober friend was chilling still with his girl at the restaurant. And when we were in the parking lot walking back, I had a gentleman approach me and he was like, hey, you you know, you look like you could use somebody to walk with. And mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, good. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we made out in the back of a truck for like 20 minutes. And then I was like. The, my one friend who was sober and driving everyone home. Yeah. I heard the like doors unlock. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh shit. You know, yeah. yeah. Started to freak out a little. And I was like, your mom was coming. Oh, yeah. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't need to care. You know, I don't, I don't care if they know, you know, yeah. Yeah. I'm past that point. So look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of gay chicken and proving you're not homophobic, <laughs> look at I was that. like, I'm going to prove I'm not homophobic by making out with a dude in the back of my friend's pickup truck. There you nice. go. Yeah. But at the same time, it did kind of give that like uh, forbidden Southern love kind of feel because we were in the back of a pickup truck. And I sure. was like, my Methodist grandma is going to come and beat my ass, you yeah. know. <laughs> she catches me in the back of the F-150 with another man. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. That's fair. Did that's you jerk what, him off? That's what made it exciting. Yeah. Um, no, there was no. Dick play? There was no penile play. Right. But I was. Here's the best part about it. I was invited to come visit him at work. Guess where? Starbucks. Oh, fucking Starbucks. <laughs> and as soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, okay, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. Corporate Color was his hair. Yeah. <laughs> split I'm dye. Kidding. I'm just kidding. No, it was a split dye. Okay. It was like blue on one side. Oh, yeah. man. And, Dude. And, and, okay. Joseph, all At right. least go for a fucking hot guy. <laughs> he was hot. All right. Was he jacked? Yeah. Damn. I'm yeah, a twin. Blue yeah, I never seen a blue hair like Jack, dude. Well, he was mixed race. What races? African American and white. So he was halfy. Okay, and he was like six. I two. guess it's kind of built into them. So like, right? You just kind of yeah. got to be jacked. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You know, the stronger your back is, the less of a beating it takes. Right. <gasps> Right. Mercy. I love this show. <laughs> so do we, Papa Sean. Yeah. Papa Sean, That's why I'm we do it back. every week. Yeah. I'm glad you're back. It's good to good to be back. Yeah. The, the banter is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> every once in a while you need something like this. Yeah. Where's Ned Rice? You need to get on him. Yeah, where is Ned Rice? He'd, he'd be doing great in he would. his chair right now. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he did ask me last time he did not the Joseph Joseph, but the other time before that, he had asked me to cut some stuff out yeah. that he had said. So yeah. Yeah. Ned got a little too too wild. Yeah. You know, you need to see the tracks that veer the other way to make sure you stay on the right ones, you right. know, every once in a while. Right. That's that's fair. Like I listen, I I feel like I'm an ally, but I'm not allowed to call myself one. So, you know, <laughs> like just fucking cancel me now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you fair. think you're not allowed to call yourself an ally? Because it feels like the most anti ally thing to to do is like again, middle aged white guy saying I'm an ally. But do you find anything I've said offensive here today? Absolutely not. Then you're an ally. Yeah, I'm very supportive. Yeah. Then you're an ally. Well, then thank you. Look at that. You, you got to get a seal card? of approval. As long as you weren't like making a disgusted face while I was telling that story, then yeah. you're, you're an ally. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Do I get Do I get a card? Yeah. It'll say ally and then N pass right under it. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. You could say the F. You get the F pass. <laughs> you get the NF pass. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll still hold on to those. Yeah. yeah. I, you'll, you'll cash them. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, you'll, uh, you'll... it's like hold crypto. Yeah. You know, like right. I want to keep it in my wallet. It only increases right. in yeah. value. Yeah. Right. Keep it in my wallet and then let it yeah. 10, 10 X, 100 X. Yeah. yeah. The longer and then you hold on. Once AOC to it, is president, that's when you cash it in. Just let them all fly. Yeah. That's when they're at their most valuable. Right. Yeah. I mean, at, at some point you guys realize we're going to elect a president who's like drunken Snapchat stories are going to yeah. be, uh, like leaked and, and gone through. Like, yeah, oh, for sure. sure. It's, it's I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. But, yeah. I always thought it would be really funny because obviously Hillary lost in 2016. Mm -hmm. And then now everyone's like, oh, you know, AOC, first female president in, you know, X amount of years, whatever. I would love if Candace Owens was the first female president. Yeah. A black woman conservative being the first female president would kick every liberal in the ass He's so hard. It would be so funny. Love anarchy, and I and I. Oh, love I do. That. I absolutely yeah. do. Yeah. I'm like the Joker, baby. I just want to see the world burn. I, just like Heath Ledger. Yes. Yeah. I'm. I'm, he wants I'm to with see you. the gay world burn. If, if this, he wants if to this see the our, tent burn. Yeah. If this is what we have to decide with then like let's let's burn the house down but again middle-aged white guy saying things like that you would like you know spend my time well you can Michigan. be pro-black woman president yeah 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 like i'm sure yeah. a bunch of a bunch of crusty old white dudes haven't gotten us uh very very far so you know yeah if you gave me good odds on it i would put a hundred dollars down that the 2032 election is going to be aoc versus candace owens like, when are we going to get, like, Jon Stewart versus The Rock, you know? Yeah. like this... Just two celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, that's where we're headed, you know? Yeah. Like, who's the most Republican in Hollywood? Vince Vaughn. He's he's definitely up there. Sandler. Sandler. But he's kind of closeted about he's it a closet to a degree. Yeah. yeah. So I want, like, a... John Vin... Voight? Yeah, like a John Voight versus miley cyrus election you know yeah. Yeah. I, I like that'd be awesome or like i don't know like mark Billy Wahlberg. Something. yeah yeah i'd you know? vote for Wahlberg. yeah Wahlberg versus eilish yeah, yeah. In 2032 yeah. yeah tight yeah he's going up there he's like i'll blind every vietnamese man in america <laughs> they should have done that <laughs> back in the for day you. yeah, yeah. Papa sean you're kind of dressed like a vet I, I uh, you definitely are. <laughs> yeah, I was I was going for seventies undercover cop. Yeah, uh, for we're uh, shooting seventies content. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. giving Desert Storm right now. Yeah, you weren't there, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I was busy. How do you feel about Desert Storm? Desert Storm. Yeah. Uh, I think we got to show these fucking sand folk <laughs> what, <laughs> what they're dealing with. You're gonna fucking fly a plane into our buildings. You know. Which they didn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> Bush was just in the front of the plane piloting. Yeah. <laughs> Jeb. <laughs> Jeb was fine. Not there's on a, crack, though. Yeah, Not on crack. There's a third Bush brother, and that's who was actually piloting yeah. plane number. I think there was there a third, third Bush Jeb. brother, yeah. yeah. Okay, there's a fourth, and that's who was piloting the... Sure. I thought it was just Jeb and No, there's George. another one. Jeb, George, and... The one they keep upstairs. There is another yeah, one, I think. Maybe. Uh... I'm getting confused with my bushes, you know. So so yeah. much bush, you know. <laughs> bush to keep track of. <laughs> Tell uh, me about it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I saw none of the Kennedys are supporting Robert, their boy RFK. It doesn't them. surprise me. No, they're fucking hard fast lips. They'll, yeah. they'll do whatever yeah. fucking Biden says. And that brain eating amoeba <laughs> just uh, you know really really changes politics. I guess. Yeah. Did he? So is he self proclaiming having a brain eating amoeba? Yeah, he confirmed he had a he had a brain worm. Yeah, that's why he had to take ivermectin. Uh, Joe Rogan said. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. No, brain dewormer. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. He said know. he got it like from from Brazil or something like that. Well, that's why horses are so smart. Yeah. 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 I'll probably vote for him. RFK. Yeah. Okay. Are we Are we doing that? We're gonna We're gonna tell everyone who we're voting for. I mean, I'm no. not. <laughs> but I'll probably vote for. Him. I'm good on that front. Yeah. <laughs> There's the line for Riley yeah. <laughs> is pinning him down on politics. No, I will say he's really fine with the fucking gay shit, but when it comes to RFK, that's where he draws the line. No, up until today, I always thought I would like be like, yeah, I, he's better than Biden, so I'll vote for Trump. And then he just got hit with 34 
felony charges. So now uh, I don't know who I'm voting for. To be that's honest, why I go with RFK. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I can vote for a guy who self-proclaimed having a brain-eating amoeba. <laughs> that's I know. I know it's been a meme, but like it's 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 like can't we just take four years off? You know, and like America, just yeah. Be like, I just want to be alone. For just me. yeah. Here's what what should happen. Get Poot on the phone. Get BB on the phone and tell him, guys, just take it easy for a little bit. Fucking truce. Yeah. I yeah. think the writers of like the three or four most popular children's shows should all get together and run the country for a little bit. Ben Shapiro. Have yeah, fucking Blues Clues. So yeah, I'm like just... get the writers of like Bluey, Sesame Street, and whatever, and then be like, just exactly how you would write an episode of that show. Yeah. Run the country because every episode of those kinds of shows starts off like. Oh, oh, you know, and then it's like we all learn a lesson at the end, you know. Hmm. I, I wish we could go like the Futurama route and just have like like Mister Mister Robinson's like head, yeah, you know, just like yeah. just fucking take care of our neighborhood for a little bit, you know. Like we Dude, need a little bit more killer. kindness, a little bit more understanding, you know. Yeah. Whatever, so yeah, I think a conglomerate of Rosa Parks had. Mr. Robinson's head. Mr. Rogers? Or Mr. Mr. Rogers, Rogers. Yeah, head. sorry, wrong, wrong. And then, I don't know who's, we'll go Robin Williams' head. Robin Williams' one. penis. And yeah, no, Draymond Green's. Yeah, Draymond, Draymond Green's penis. <laughs> yeah. oh, a Hydra that has those three heads and Draymond Green's penis. Yep. With yeah. the arms of Donald Trump, because sure. he's got to do the little yeah. stance. You know, that was right. the best part about Trump, was the goofy stance. What about the legs? Maybe Kevin Durant's. Yes. Kevin Durant. We'll go Kevin Durant's. Like, he's like <laughs> seven foot two. Yeah. And we'll give him the torso of Billie Eilish because everyone likes a nice rock and pair. Sure. She thick. Yeah. I think if we just her. built the perfect Can you say president. That? <laughs> Am I allowed? Yeah, she's like 20. That's now, your line. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's too far for me. No. <laughs> it's too far. Thinking Billie Eilish is hot. Yeah. She is hot. She's got a fucking chest on her. Yeah, she does. Dude. She's my type. She's really? That, yeah. You don't that. like white girls. What are you talking about? We've you, had this. You discussion. famously. I like a pale Sydney face Sweeney. with dark hair. Yeah, but she has blonde hair. I said I like a pale face with dark hair. That's why I don't like Sydney Sweeney. Right. But she's Billie Eilish and Sydney Sweeney are interchangeable at this point. Billie Eilish is. She has blonde hair. Way more pale and has been dyeing her hair for years. All right. If she's naturally blonde. She's natty. Whatever. Yeah. But she dyes it, so I'm cool with that. You like yeah. to be the one to provide the uh, vitamin D? Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. it. Yeah. 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 you. So this uh, fucking broke back mountain, broke yep. ass movie. <laughs> fucking, oh yeah. yeah, what movie were we talking about? <laughs> yeah, it's based on a book. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, fucking gay ass book, <laughs> dude. I wonder if the author of that book was like a married dude with a wife and kids, and then wrote it, and his wife was like, "Yeah, all right, what do you want about here? We need to, we need to talk." Yeah, I don't yeah. know if Ang has a family, but if he does, and he made this movie, that they'd, uh, they'd probably be like, "Well, what are you doing?" What are you doing, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen that? It was the guy who did uh, Parasite. Yeah. Before he did it, he did that like short movie, What's Wrong with the Robinsons? Or No, no. Uh, you're thinking of Ari Aster, who directed Hereditary. Hereditary. Sorry, yeah. not Parasite. Hereditary. Yeah, I looped those two yeah, together. Yeah, there's so, something with the Johnsons. Or yeah, something with the Johnsons. Yeah, and it's wild. If you haven't seen it, I can highly recommend it. I think the whole thing is free on YouTube. It is. But uh, there's a scene where the son approaches the father and he's like, because the father's writing a screenplay about what's going on in, in the film. Yeah. And he's like, what's this all about? Like, if I see you catching or I catch you writing another screenplay, like, I'm going to be pissed like this, that and the other. And that's how I picture Ang Lee's family Ang's son, yeah. being like, if I catch you writing any more gay ass movies, there's yeah. going to be a problem. <laughs> a problem. I <laughs> That that kind of hits close to home. My uh, my dad um, wrote a novel that he pitched to a publisher. Uh -huh. So like I knew about this growing up. You know, he always talked about writing his book. And then um, during the pandemic, I decided that I was going to um, take the manuscript and I was going to uh, read it and make a book on tape. You know, I like, thought like that'd be a really cool idea. So I got to the first sex scene, then I'm like, my my dad writing for context like about what he knows so like i'm basically reading about my dad boning my mom right now oh like, god yeah. this is uncomfortable yeah, yeah you know? no yeah yeah extremely that's, uncomfortable yeah that's, that's crazy a, the, um uh, <laughs> sorry to laugh why like am i that? hard you know like, 
what's it called the novelized version of your your parents uh yeah it, it was like my that's, origin story right you know yeah. like <laughs> so that's funny that's pretty cool though yeah it was yeah. Sorry, got what was the book about just about um about or do you a, know spoil it? yeah not, about a cop uh nice. and a murder and sexual assault and nice you know it just sounds uh, riveting yeah was, was uh, your father a law officer or no? Uh, my dad is a sex therapist. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, he he actually stopped writing that book and wrote a book with uh, uh, two other women called Sex Matters for Women. Um, and so like that was also what I kept on my coffee table in college is like, you know, like, oh, he's so understanding. Yeah. yeah. My dad's an author and also a really cool guy. Yeah. 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 My dad taught me all the tricks. <laughs> He did a he did a video series called Sex in Your Sixties, nice. and like this was like right at the beginning of like YouTube and stuff like that. So, so it came out after Sex and the City. Yeah, it was like kind of playing on that. I, I was like, going to say, play, yeah, you know? um, that rocks. And it was like it was like my dad like holding holding it down like Doctor Phil like with a whole bunch of like sixty year old plus. Who was the SJP? What's that? Who was the SJP in your dad's a uh, video series? I, I so I only had like asshole friends that like clipped things and sent it to me yeah. right god dad you gotta warn me that this like this is before we knew like how forever the internet was yeah you know so yeah damn like, my dad lecturing a room full of people about like you don't need to be able to have an erection to be a good lover and i'm like that's that's a chapter i didn't get to <laughs> thought that was a prerequisite to, yeah. you, know, you should have like got you should have been sitting in the back and stood up and be like not that you'd know <laughs> it was like before viagra was really like a yeah. big thing too you know so yeah. like trying to offer some hope you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you know it's like pops you're exposing yourself <laughs> yeah that's another movie with uh jake gyllenhaal and Anne hathaway love and other drugs mm. where he plays like a viagra salesman like right when it comes out yeah and uh they're just fucking throughout the entire movie that's Dude, a good to movie. be a fucking salesman when that shit came out, like yeah. you know, it's like it sells itself. Yeah. You know, those guys made a bag. Yeah. Nowadays, you can go to the gas station and get a honey pack. Dude, I I had I had a, a this poor kid that worked for me. Like, I, I manage bars, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, like you have a lot of people who you the the talent pool that you're dealing with uh it's a fucking bar you know like you get a lot of bullshit excuses for people not showing up to work one of my barbacks called me up and he's like hey uh my boy uh who else worked for me like can't come in tonight like why not and he goes well he took one of those gas station erection pills i'm like okay and he's like well you know how it says like if your erection doesn't go away in like you know an hour like go to the emergency room i'm like yeah he's like it's been 18 hours i'm like oh Holy shit. You guys need to yeah. go to the hospital. Like, I, I don't want a doctor's note because I need proof. I want a doctor's note because I want to know what the fuck is yeah. happening right now, you know? Yeah. It's well, also, I was going to say, story. like, why would, like, I would never call my boss and be like, you know, I, I have, I've had an 18 hour erection, so I won't be coming into work. Yeah. But also, that is kind of the perfect excuse, you yeah. know? To have, a, to have a friend call, you know? Right. Yeah, that's yeah. wild. That's a good friend right there. He's you know? so stiffed up, he can't even open his phone to call you. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, probably, like, not enough blood getting to the brain. That, yeah, yeah right? I mean, how many nuts did he bust that day? Yeah, I, I have no idea, you know? Like, good for him. Yeah. He's just he doing he like probably, a, like, was panicking and, like, maybe if I jerk off again, like, you know, it'll it'll go yeah. down. And so he, he probably, like, you know, probably by the third or fourth it's time exhausted. realized, like, this isn't going to work. Getting cramps. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he's, like, half asleep at that point, too. Yeah, I mean, 18 yeah. hours, that's, you know. Yeah. Good. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. This, this poor girlfriend was in a wheelchair for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about blowback mountain. They had to cut it off. Yeah. No. they had to like make a cut in it to like let the air out <laughs> it's like when you used to get the black plague and they do bloodletting yeah 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 I'd, I'd i'd imagine it's probably like just like a pulp fiction syringe you know I'm just like <laughs> just in the tip yeah I'm just drain. down the urethra like, we're franklin pull your boner out of you right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they peel his eyes open and make him watch uh peel gay porn like in clockwork orange yeah. <laughs> that they make him watch this movie yeah yeah and that that would have been cockwork orange. It's getting bigger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. gonna blow. Yeah, so, yeah. Good, good for him. 
We've ripped on this guy's dick for long enough. Yeah, yeah. I hope I, I hope you clip this so I can send it to him. <laughs> What's his name? Let's shout him out. Oh, no, no. Don't say I ain't going to do that to him. Yeah, he's a man of God now. Yeah. Oh, good for him. Shouldn't we all be? He made it. He made the right choice. But like rural Alabama gas station boner pill. Like what yeah. about this scene? I thought you were going to say a be? rural Alabama man, man of God. And I was like, yeah, that's not the right kind of man of God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. It, he man wouldn't be a, a wild, fan of this movie. Yeah, it's a wild place. Yeah. Yeah. He'd be protesting this movie. Yeah, he's the guy who killed Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a there's a lot of a lot of homophobia in the South. Yeah. You know? It's a different different time down there. Yeah. So, That's that, why I'm honestly shocked at the amount of like old dudes at the beach in Florida that wear speedos. Well, Miami is a different story. Not even Miami, like Clearwater and shit. Like old yeah. dudes just rock speedos on the beach. Oh yeah, well, because they're they they're just they're fucking they're just like whatever. Like mm-hmm. you know that any, was, that was like, also like the style in the eighties. You know, yeah, like yeah. I, I I I've got fucking family beach photos of like all the all the men in my family wearing speedos and it's yeah. uncomfortable. You know, it's, yeah. I'm straight as day as long, and I'd wear I'd rock a speedo in my 80s. I rocked a speedo from the age of eight to yeah, 18 for yeah. swimming. You so I, I'm more than comfortable with yeah. it. I uh, I've, I've got I've got some like old swim trunks from the 80s that like they they uh, they're not speedos, but man, they make people uncomfortable. They ride a little like, high. I, yeah, I, I I enjoy I enjoy rocking those, you know. And, and I also I also bought one of those Borat bathing suits. There you go. Fuck yeah. 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 You know, it's you would if I if I would have thought like who do I know that would buy a Borat bathing yeah. suit? I'd be like Papa Sean probably would. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's you can never find the red occasion. Right. You know, that's the problem with right. It, you know. Yeah. Um, and with the Borat Kini? Yeah. <laughs> Borat Kini. And then it's like, well, when was the last time I washed my ass? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. like a lot, a lot of. Should I shave my cheeks? Yeah, like... A lot of things to think about. Now nah, you just wipe real hard and it, it comes out. Yeah, you know? sure. <laughs> you got to scrub. Okay. I, uh, I found my old Speedo from swimming in high school. And Speedos are sized like pants, like 28, 30, 32, you know? Yeah. And I was a 28 back in my, my prime, my swimming yeah. prime. You're a little boy. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, I'm a 32 waist, 32 length. And I tried to put the old 28 on the other day. Yeah. My ass cheeks were just hanging out of that nice. thing. <laughs> Double cheeked up. It was a Thursday afternoon. Look at that. It looks like you're on a Nelly Thick video. Boy. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I could have been in this movie. Yeah. God bless, man. Now, it's very macho uh, dress code in this movie. There's not. Yeah. Yeah, no. There wasn't a lot of like strictly denim hardy. and plaid and Carhartt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because they're gay cowboys, right? Yeah, it didn't. It's not like they they got to the country and then it, like the birdcage emerged. Yeah. You know, like it, it was. Yeah, it's like a skin tight pink tank top on all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wearing a mesh shirt. <laughs> like I, I wonder. Disco. I wonder how many. I wonder how many like, hetero, male hunting trips this movie fucked up in that time period you know we're like all of a sudden you know like their wives got sus yep. you know because of this movie and they're like like dale can't can't go this year like wives think we're fucking you know like i think even beyond that like how many times do you think dale was allowed to go and then dale would you know in years past he would have just dropped into his undies to change out of his overalls in front of all his boys yeah. and after this movie came out yeah. dale tried to drop into his undies to change out of his overalls and all his boys were like the fuck are you doing what are you yeah. doing dale you trying yeah. to fuck me yeah, yeah. go yeah. home brother yeah the brother in there's a nice touch yeah <laughs> yeah this movie uh, it ruined a lot of cowboy outings yeah. <laughs> did it ruined did. a lot of wild nights on the ranch I'll have to send you a picture this weekend. I'm going to a country concert in Pittsburgh, and I'm wearing shit. a crop top that says "I Heart Gay Cowboys." Oh shit! I'm very excited. Good for you. Oh, yeah. Man. What's the what, where where in Pittsburgh? Like it's uh, at Acrisure, which used to be Heinz. Okay. Um, it's uh the main act is Kenny Chesney. Nice. Not a huge fan of his, but the two openers are Megan Maroney. She's a bit of a newcomer. I like her a lot, and then Uncle Cracker. Uncle Cracker. Yes, sir. And I am very excited to go to If heaven ain't a lot like Detroit. Uh huh. There we go. Follow me. Everything is all right. Good for Uncle Cracker. Yeah, he's still making his bag. Yeah, good for him, man.
I have no idea about any of those words. None of you don't know who Uncle Cracker is? No, I don't know. He was in Kid Rock's band before they both went solo. Really? Two Clawson boys before Kid Rock became uh, the kind of guy who would shoot Bud Light with an MP5. (laughs) Yeah. That's wild. The video is awesome. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Although I don't like what he did, the video is just very funny. I'm not Shane Gillis brought Bud Light back. Yeah. Yeah, he saved it. That's fine. I don't even drink. <laughs> it it was it, I was so mad. I was like, I'm gonna protest it. I don't even drink. <laughs> it was absurd. You stopped buying NA Bud Light. <laughs> yeah. When I was when I was managing a bar in Alabama, it was like peak Bud Light. And like literally going into a big weekend, I would have one full wall of Bud Light and yeah. then everything else on the other wall. And and it was I would sell out of Bud Light. Yeah. It was yeah. Absolutely insane. That's crazy. Like Bud Light like not good beer. You just like show up like, what do you need? Fucking Bud Light. What the fuck do you think I need? Yeah. You know, like fucking less less talking, more rolly the beer. You know, yeah. like come on, bro. I'm here to get drunk and feel like I'm drinking piss water the whole night. So if it goes down easy, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was also weird too because like Alabama just has like weird liquor laws and weird booze laws. Like really, that's yeah. kind of surprising. Um, the the beer could only be like 5.5 percent alcohol like you're gonna learn way too much about beer if you let me keep on talking like people would go down to florida for instance and yeah, be like, yeah. i could drink forever in florida it's like yeah because their beer tops out at 4.5 percent it's not the same bud light in florida that oh, it is. No yeah so, so you can't get like a heavy hitting ipa in florida then? those things have changed um, oh, okay you know it's like the a lot of the free that like alabama had a free the hops bill that like came through where like okay. then they could get like the big belgians and stuff like that but you know for for the longest time they would have different brews of different beers for to meet these state requirements huh. yeah really weird that's pretty sweet huh. the more you know <laughs> yeah i'm sure look at that yeah so, you know, I, yeah. I'm not going to drop any knowledge about the Arabian PhD. Peninsula. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking like the black rapper Gunna. Bob <laughs> Sean fucking PhD in alcoholism. Fuck <laughs> yeah, dude. I survived, baby. Yeah. We here. We we here, man. So Yeah. I'm glad you're here, Bob Sean. Yeah. This was a great app. I, this was probably our most offensive app so far. We covered a lot of ground. Yeah. A lot of ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, you brought it everybody. out of me, option. I don't yeah. know what to say. Yeah. The, the the hate just comes out. Yeah. I think you came in in this outfit, and I was like, all right, I'm ready to fucking let it fly. Yeah. Just, <laughs> this guy gets me. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> I'm just thinking about how many open mics I won't be able to go to anymore after this pod drops. Yeah. Actually? No. I'm just okay, kidding. I was going to say. Give, I don't give a fuck about any of these fucking... Gay kids open mics. There's a lot of drama in the uh, in the the Detroit comedy scene on the Book of Faces right now. There oh, is oh, indeed shit. because uh, a certain uh, festival uh, didn't accept anybody, and a lot of people are mad about it. Huh? Yeah. Not that I would know anything, but it, I just I'm eating my popcorn. And yeah. Like I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, I mean, I've fucking I wasted assuming, 25 bucks on this fucking bullshit ass festival too. So I'm assuming neither of you guys were that involved in it or like yeah, had no. beef or anything. Like, I, no, I, I didn't. I didn't I'd even like the the reason for the taped uh, show. Yeah, um, was to to give folks an opportunity to get some good tape and submit to things like this. Yeah, and um part of the rationale behind the date was it would have been in time for uh this uh this festival um okay but like i've never submitted i've never been uh at that that level where i i felt like i could you know be uh at one of these festivals and whatnot you know um and just seeing everyone's reactions about getting uh getting rejected yeah um i Hmm. One, I have no point of context about where they're set and their materials at because I haven't been in rooms. So, right. you know, like, no idea. And two, uh, it's got to be a fucking nightmare to get, like, hundreds of five-minute clips of people uh, to then have to, like, go through and think about an event that's coming in, like, three or four months, you know. So, like, to your point, I understand both sides of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think for me too, like as the organizer of this event, it'd be pretty hard to tell 
just how funny somebody is or like how badly I want them on my show based off of a four minute clip alone. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, th- that's, that's the reality of it is like, you know, one comics are all out of our fucking minds. Um, you know, like I'll be driving back from a set I'm like, yeah, fucking killed it and then i'll listen back and be like oh i guess the mic wasn't picking up the crowd very well (laughs) dude i've had that thought every time i've listened well the acoustics in that room must have sucked because they were going crazy it was only getting the pa yeah Yeah. in the room it sounded so much funnier yeah they must have trimmed the audio track down to just the mic yeah they were rolling it's my audio fuck you know (laughs) so um, yeah i mean yeah i knew i wasn't gonna get accepted i submitted because i was like well you know what if I do? Yeah. But, uh, and I think that's sort of how people, how you should look at stuff like this. Like there's fucking like actual like headliners, like, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Shout Ian, out to Ian headliner. finance. Um, what about a Detroit headliner? No, I'm saying like, there are like oh. actual headliners who are going to be performing at this. Oh, thing. no shit. Yeah. And so it's like, you know, fucking, I'm not going to open for Ian finance or like, Hans Kim or fucking like whoever. You never know. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I know. And that's the other thing too is like as the organizer, you just know you're going to piss people off. Yeah. But like, you know, you're signing up for it, but like it is what it is. You know? Yeah. Like get better, get better material, keep working, you know? Yeah. uh, Suck some dick. You know. uh, yeah, I kind of see where both of you guys are coming from too, or at least where you're coming from, where it's like you submitted it, but you were never like banking on or expecting yeah. to get into it. So when you got rejected, there was never that level of like saltiness or like being yeah. pissed off about it because it was never really mm-hmm. within your expectations. And yeah. I think people that are at or around your level who are now pissed that they didn't get into it just kind of need to learn to like, hey, you're not yeah. the shit all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and so I see both sides too. Yeah, and so, it, but it's it's just fun to to watch it unfold. Yeah, on, yeah. it on, is on fun. Facebook. Absolutely. Like, anytime there's drama, I love a good internet the, beef and just sitting oh, back yeah. and enjoy. It. Yeah, it's like I don't need to be involved the same to exact thing happened a few months ago for the Traverse City Comedy Festival. Same exact shit. People are still bitching about it about how like no one locally got selected, and uh, it's like you know, part of it is they just want to have a good show and. No one locally, you know, is, you know, speaking hyperbolically, of course, but nobody locally is at that level where it's like, we we go to like three open mics a week that we're not at fucking New York going to three a night, you know? Yeah. So it's like people in Detroit don't have the, sure, there's funny people and there are people who can progress to the next level and people who have progressed to the next level, but, you know, it's not, it's not like... You know, I you shouldn't get like butt hurt that you didn't get accepted because you know you're just not there. Well, because like you said, there's people like Ian Finance there who like tour across the country and yeah, and sell out. But 500 person, he like he was already announced. Did, like this that people were submitting for was to like open or like do the smaller shows. Okay. Or like to open for the headliners. Right. So then in my mind too, I would at least be able to be like, yeah, I'm not there. Like yeah. I can't open for Ian. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. It's also fun just to get out of town to see that, whether it's the Detroit comedy scene or uh, like the few times that I've done it outside of Detroit. I'm like, oh, it's the exact same. Yeah. Just. They they look like they're from Nashville, they right? Look like yeah, they're from Jackson or Cincinnati you know, like or wherever. Yeah, Atlanta, Montgomery. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's like no. The open mic comedy scenes are, are going to be the same wherever. Like, I like I was listening to old episodes of Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast, and I was like, this is exactly what like we experience. Yeah, but it's just it's in Philly, like. My, my my Sam Bernstein material just does not work in <laughs> South of Toledo. It's yeah. uh, bullshit. They just don't know? get it. Or Sam Berenstain, you know, whichever. Like they they don't get the Kwame jokes in Cincinnati. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you think Jumana's everywhere? Right. She's not. No, yeah. she's very much a local yeah. celebrity. Yeah. Her, yeah. her billboard stop uh, at seventy five. Yeah. Uh, Shout out all the famous lawyers we have in. Detroit. We have there's so a lot many. of them. Yeah. The, but but what's fun though is 
you know, like living in Atlanta, there is the Sam Bernstein equivalent. Uh, oh, in, yeah. In, in Atlanta, where it's like a guy standing on top of a semi truck, like one call, that's all, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. okay. Like, I see yeah. you. Uh-huh. you know? Even spending as much time as I do in Pittsburgh, there's two major competing law firms out there. Yeah. One of their billboards is like, we're the biggest law firm in Pittsburgh. And everything's about, we're, we're, Big, you know, like we have so many lawyers and, and all this. We always have people on retainer. And then the other law firm, all of their counter billboards are size doesn't matter. Call 1 800 this law firm. Yeah. And they're just go back and forth with these billboards. And it's the same shit we have here, you know? I just, uh, I just want to, like, one of my bucket list things is to meet Tanya Lalan, you know? Um, oh, you know, man. like, because there's there's no personality like her in any other city I've ever uh, I've ever come across, you know. So. That or <laughs> we had this discussion with Paulie on the Jack Kevorkian episode, Top yeah. Dog Law. Top okay. Dog, you know yeah. Top Dog Law. Yeah. Those after, I want to meet the guy who does the reads over the yeah, because that's Top Dog. I did some research. That's not Top Dog. That Paulie was under the impression that Top Dog was like the one doing the like the read. Yeah, but that's not. I that's never just, I figured it was. You just, I know. You I weren't alive for Kevorkian, were you? No. But I know the story. Like yeah. my grand, we were we were a lot. We me. we over 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 crossed being alive with him because he died in what like two thousand four. Yeah, 6 yeah. Or something? But he wasn't like actively killing yeah. people. Yeah, like I was alive. a kid and I just knew I was going to be in a parking lot where there's a van with a dead body. Like, yeah, like the like. But as long as the bush porn was okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing it back. <laughs> like you stay dead. Yeah, like I'm into my... the Kevorkian big boy. You know, I've been yeah. there. <laughs> The famous Kevorkian big boy. Kevorkian it's like big fifteen boy. and Ra- fifteen yeah. and John R. Maybe right there. Yeah. See that material doesn't work outside of Michigan. Yeah. Right. Yeah. People are like, "What's fifteen and what's John R.?" <laughs> yeah. Who's Kevorkian? You know. Yeah. Like, my Larry Nasser jokes just don't. Yeah. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there another Bobby person too? Hard. <laughs> there's like a new. There's a new like Michigan State case. I think it's just more Larry Nasser. Oh, okay. Uh, I was going to say, I don't know if I've heard anything new, but I know there's like more shit coming out about Nasser. Yeah, okay. The FBI covered up. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. Which they do. They were in the deep with I mean, they killed Michigan them. State okay. gymnastics. <laughs> in they deep. were like, they got to win. We can't. <laughs> we can't. Fucking... deep, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Top of Sean. Get everybody. Yeah. Hey, All right. no one's safe. Yeah. This has been another episode of the People Is. Uh, leave a comment on this episode and next week's episode. Or don't. And the week after that. <laughs> leave a comment on what you thought about Papa Sean in yeah. this episode. Yeah. Your your favorite quote from this episode. Let us know your favorite quote from this episode. Type all of it out. Yeah. yeah. Clip Type everything. out the transcript of this episode. I want to hear it. Or I want to read it. God. <laughs> it's a real page turner. Yeah. And so it's, it's been fun. No, yeah. Thank you for being back, class. Papa Sean. Been it's been Thank a minute. Thank you for coming, Papa Sean. Yeah. yeah. I came. <laughs> a lot. He came, he saw. <laughs> There's a lot of DNA on the side of the table. Yeah. I came. Are I you going to be back, Papa Sean? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm back. Um, Are you a local boy soon? You're a local boy soon, right? Yeah, I'll be I'll be back in the area um, a lot more regular in about a week, 10 days. Look at that. And by the area, we mean Montgomery, Alabama. That's Papa Sean's going to be back in right Alabama. <laughs> Uh, you can stop by. Fighter. Yeah, you can stop by at Old Detroit Burger Bar in Clawson to see Papa Sean. I go where Polly goes. Yeah, yeah, and to see me. I'm there every Saturday. Yeah, Riley's been there a couple times. And honestly, just to get a good burger at a good price. Get a bur- good a lot burger. Of overpriced hamburgers around here nowadays. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it's 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 fucking the chicken tenders though. That's fucking. I I got the chicken tenders and fries and a coke. It was twenty bucks. I was like this. This fucking shit was not 20 bucks. I was so mad, but I didn't complain about it. The fact that you paid more for that than you would have if you just got a burger. I know, but I was in an attendee mood. Okay. Mood. Okay. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not here to hate. Sometimes Man's in I his like bathing suit. I need some, some tendies. tendies, you know? I need some tendies. God. Spilling around. And they have a chest. They have really good tendies. Scooping it up and That's good. sensually licking it up. No, their tendies are really good, but okay. 20, 20 bucks. That's a bit outrageous. Yeah. Yeah. I was insatiated. Shout out OD. But also, uh, my waitress there will often forego my bill for a Coke. So, um, so you know, to pay twenty bucks once, <laughs> yeah, for all the free Cokes that I've gotten from there, you know, it was kind of there. You go. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. yeah, free Coke, man. Leah, if you're watching <laughs> this, thanks for the Cokes. 
I'll tell her that I shouted her out on this episode. <laughs> she will say, yeah, we <laughs> never talk. Don't watch all the don't, way through. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch the last two minutes. That's yeah. all you need. I will send you a timestamp. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So see me do stand up there. See uh, Papa Sean do stand up there when he comes. Yeah. Uh, and comment on the next four videos. Comment on this video. And the next. Three. And the next three and you'll for a hundred dollars a hundred dollar roonies and a paradiso t-shirt who could ask for more um and this is how i'm gonna like bankrupt myself it's just by like offering people money i was trying to the show yeah i was trying to think of like what a good price point like dollar point to for a giveaway is because we did it, we did a twenty dollars giveaway. It didn't get that much traction. Did you announce your twenty dollars? I didn't announce the winner. I'm going to announce it uh, tomorrow, um, where I'm also going to announce the winner of the T-shirt. So I'm going to double up on the announcements. But I feel like people, a hundred bucks, you know, that's something. That's an people, attention grabber. Yeah, There's no one's going to go out of their way for twenty bucks. Yeah, you know. I mean, I'm not gay, but twenty dollars is twenty dollars. There we go. But a hundred bucks, that's like you know, that that could change someone's day. You know, it could. It could, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people out there. Buy a lot of weed that. for a hundred bucks. Yeah, sure. You, could, you can get an ounce in Michigan nowadays for a hundred bucks. You can get two ounces. You can That's get five. Yeah, hey, depending yeah, on where you go. You want some mids. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can get a dust when uh, when you open it, but you know. You can get five orders of chicken tannies from Old Detroit Burger Bar. There, there you, you go. go. With yeah. Cokes and fries. Yeah. Mm. So you can't tip though. So you bring your own tip money. Yeah. yeah. And and you're like sixty bucks away from an eight ball, you know. Yeah. And so sure. <laughs> um, so yeah. So just comment on all the other giveaways, and eventually you'll have a just free. Just comment eight ball. on every video. Just if you're watching this, comment on every video. Just please comment on all our videos. <laughs> like Papa Sean said, comment your favorite insane line from this episode yeah. down below. What What do you think the most offensive thing I said in this podcast was? <laughs> I think I said fag at some point, so that's probably it. But or angry, that's pretty. <laughs> angry was good. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a killer. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll see you next time. Hey. Big peace. <laughs>